and just show off some of the stuff that I have. I did not intend to uh, make these little skits originally. So, you know, like I said, I started on TikTok and, and started doing that. And just had to have something, you know, a little bit to go with it real quick. Just something super real quick. And uh, you just see me in the, in the cosplay. And I don't know, with a real chainsaw and a real shotgun. And then I started filming some of the, the, the inside of my, my man cave here. Um, I know I got, you see the deer head, and you've probably seen the clock. You know, obviously that ain't the Evil Dead 2 clock. Uh, it will be when I mod it, but it is nowhere near the same size. But this, this, this ceiling in this, in this place, you know, it's only so, it's only so high. This is just a little shed, and, um, and it was on the property. And uh, when we first moved up here, uh, took my wife's brother with us, and he lived in here. Um, he must have lived in here for a good year and a half. I don't even, a year, year and a half, I don't even remember. And I was like, that's cool, man. I was like, that's a, it's a little house. I'm like, it's badass. And you know, I'm like, shit. I'm like, I was single and then I thought of something like that. And I said, I didn't got one of these goddamn things. And I said, it probably looked like a cabin from Evil Dead. And, uh, I had, uh, you know, I had stated previously, um, that we'd moved from, Illinois to northern Wisconsin and uh, after about a year or so he wanted to go home I know and much up here I mean, he's just he's hanging out with his sister and brother-in-law and kids and um, you know he had his fun he went home and um, had other things to do or other end up with jobs girlfriends blah blah, blah. and uh, he's in his 20s you know and uh, so I was like oh awesome Oh, it got me a little man cave, I guess. And all the wife was say, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm turning it to a guest house. I said, oh, that's a cute idea. And I said, I hope they fucking like Evil Dead. Uh, I hope they don't have a fucking problem with chainsaws up on the shelf. A fucking axe ain't on a wall. A goddamn uh, ash, evil ash mask sitting there. And I said, yeah. I said, sure, why not? We'll throw a bed in there. I said, they can come in here and they can come sleep in the evil dead cabin. I hope they shake and shiver all fucking night long, but whatever. You know, I, I said, no. I said, no. I said, you know, put all this stuff in there. I said, I'm going to just make it what I want it to be. I just wanted a place to write away from the house, not a, a man cave in the basement where I'm sitting there and I'm typing and I'm, you know, when I write, I get right into it. Like I'm somewhere else. And that's what I love about writing. You know, I ain't making money on my books, okay? I ain't making money with my writing. I, I get, I do it for the passion because I get so into it. It's like these characters, they just, they completely come to life. And, and they start doing shit that I, I didn't even know that they were going to do. What the fuck did you just say? And, um, you know, so I said, I just need a place to write. I just need to, a place where I can go. And, and so, like, you know, that little cabin's perfect. And so I started putting all my evil dead stuff up and, you know, and I hear people say, oh yeah, you know, it's funny. You should put that up online. Well, sure, why not? I want to show pictures, a little bit of video of it. And um, then all of a sudden, you know, just go on TikTok and then I showed up on TikTok. And, you know, oh yeah, people, oh, that's cool, man. That's cool. So I started making little videos, started making more watermelon videos and, and little skits, you know. I said, why not? I'm, I'm just... A little role play and a little role play cosplay in a cabin, you know. When I got something to, to fight and I, I, I got the and the background setting, you know. I mean obviously this cabin is not screen accurate as far as what you see in the movie. One day I might do that. So um and I thought about it and I hunted down now you can't find that clock. People have been making it. Um Another friend of mine that I met online made Evil Dead chainsaw replicas. Uh, he built that. He built the clock, the the actual clock from the Evil Dead Two, Evil Dead One, Evil Dead Two, uh, Ash versus Evil Dead, and uh, it is exact replica of that clock. Oh, it's quartz clock, you know. It it battery operated too, but it didn't have all the winding and stuff. That that was an old uh, antique Indonesian clock. Sam Raimi picked up. Um, but I could simply mod this to maybe look like it. They put the thing on top, make it a darker color, and put the different face on the on the dial there, and uh, 
uh, the pendulum and the evil dead clock is uh, got a wood stick and uh, brass, you know, round brass, unpolished brass um, for the pendulum. So it wouldn't be too hard to just kind of mock up a little bit. Um, I hunted down, you know, the closest thing I had to um, gooseneck lamp. Um, I said, I need that old gooseneck lamp. And I said, obviously, not one you go pick up at Walmart for eight ninety nine now and uh whatever i said that's it's, it's got to be the old die you know the old iron casted gooseneck lamp that was sitting on that table in there and um the um the curtains in this place um the this house that we, we purchased up here it uh, was owned by a just an old lady the only person that ever lived here and uh she had all those ugly granny curtains and she left him behind, you know, young couple, you know, younger couple, you know, people like us moving in, you know, got doilies, doily looking curtains, whatever you call those things. And so I just shoved them somewhere, didn't even throw them away. And uh, when I come to do this cabin, I said, oh, snap. And my wife is like, why would a guy want old lady curtains hanging up in his man cave and i said she doesn't watch this stuff she don't know what it is you know she does not like horror movies now she she'll watch uh, uh insidious and uh the conjuring but she she's not going to sit and watch the bloody stuff she's not going to watch that she don't like jason uh, and she's scared to death of michael myers and uh and, you know, she don't know who you know, Ash Williams really is, you know, other than what I've told her, what little she has seen. And, um, so, you know, she don't watch that. I said, this is in the fucking cabin in the movie. I said, you know, and I put the, the curtains up. There wasn't enough of them, so I just sliced them in half. And there's, there's one on each side. And, uh, this one, I know there's sun in this camera. But this one, I still got my air conditioner in. But you know, it's just, it's just ugly, shredded curtain. And I said, "Well, I don't want to look good." He said, "I want to look I like the movie, but I want to look kind of creepy in its own way." And uh, I took extra pieces and um, I did the table where the gooseneck lamp sits on, along with the chamber stick candle holder, and uh, just you know draped it like around there. And um, same with the uh, fox fireplace. Um, I just, um, I put a little piece of it there and, um, this is just, uh, this is just a fireplace. I just, I just put this together with, uh, random two by fours and two by sixes and a couple other various pieces of wood. Um, I did go out and I purchased that, that wood, uh, and, uh, to make that just wanted a simple idea to just throw something that looked like a fireplace up as I looked at those. And they got them ones that are heaters. And I do use a heater in the cabin. And I said, well, I said, that would work. And I said, they're a little pricey sometimes, especially since I wanted it specifically to be a certain height. You can get those typical fireplace heaters that are small. And I said, no, I said, it's gotta be, it's, it's gotta be up here. And I said, because I need, I need room to put, this is an actual Dietz number two um, lantern. That's that's not a uh, that's not one of the new ones you'll buy. This is this is one of the really old ones, and it's like the one that Bruce Campbell's holding in the original Evil Dead movie, and uh, Evil Dead Two, and he's holding it, and so I got this one on eBay as well. I don't even remember what I paid for. Not a whole lot. I don't even know if it works. I don't use it. It just it sits here. And I got a little hook there, which sometimes you probably don't even see on my films. Because I don't want to fall over and break. Um, and then I needed the deer head. And I chose I chose this as opposed to a real one. Um, I don't know if you guys ever really know this or not. But it that's just it's just plastic. Um, it's just a fox deer head. Um, I was going to put the, the thing that's supposed to go behind it. The plaque. And I, I, I never really did that. And... Uh, you know, this don't stick out, obviously, like a real deer head. And like I said, this cabin is only, and if you look at it, you know, I don't got a whole lot of ceiling room anyway. And and the real thing, you know, would 
would stuck out right here. And there would have been no room for the antlers. And I could have probably, you know, got a, I could have got a taxidermy mount, you know, a little eight point horn on it, you know, and, you know, something smaller and then done it that way. But I just, I picked that thing up. I don't remember what I even paid for that thing either. But um, my original idea was to use one of the animated ones. You can't find them real good on eBay anymore. It was called Buck. And um, it sang and danced and it moved around. And I said, well, I said, well, I've got to have that thing. And I said, I put that in the cabin. And I, I said, maybe I could get it to, you know, move back and forth and laugh. You know, like in seeing the Evil Dead too. And uh, I, I might, if I can get a hold of one sometime, maybe I will. Um, I guess we see. Uh, then I had to finish it off with a mirror. So I just got in, in the one in the movies. I think mean, both Evil Dead 1 and Evil Dead 2, it's still different. Uh, they're both wood framed. So I just got a wood framed oval mirror. Um, it's modern. It's, it's not vintage or anything like that. Just something to, to put there. And I got glare in the sun, but I keep the candles, the candles there which is seen sitting on the fireplace in Evil Dead 2. Um, and the, uh, obviously not a real fireplace, but, uh, you know, this is, this is just that paneling. That was left in the basement here. Found it down there. Uh, she had put some of that stuff around the house and some of the basement's finished. Some of it's not. They had this backdrop of this, you know, fake brick paneling sheets that you put up. And I said, hmm. I'll take some of that, add that to the fireplace because give it a little bit of a natural look. Um, the the desk, the uh, the desk is just a normal desk, and then the tape recorder sits on it. And um, the tape recorder is a Panasonic, but it is not the exact same model on Evil Dead One and Two. Um, and I still I'm going to get a hold of one. Uh, but of course, the banker's lamp. Banker lamp's just a modern one. Um, that thing in that movie. <clears throat> excuse me. The banker's lamp in Evil Dead 2 is so old that it would be hard to... You'd, you know, you'd have to go to antique shops. And then, you know, a tape recorder is similar. Um, I do use a, uh, use a speaker for my computer to put in here. Um... This is just a, I just had to pick up one of these jacks. Actually, it was my brother-in-law that had this. It's a 5.5 to 3.5 adapter. And then I just play the uh, tape recorder through the uh, speakers because uh, the speakers inside this tape recorder uh, don't work. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about these things and I, and I looked at it a little bit, but and I couldn't quite figure it out just yet. I said it don't matter because I'm, I'm only using it for that particular for that particular purpose. And there's the the workbench, and um, it's a little bit of a mess at the moment. I do actually do some chainsaw repair on this. Other than these these shelves were already purchased. Like all of this was built with um, leftover, or should I say? ruined and damaged laminate flooring that I was putting in and um there are pieces that you know I'm fucked up on whatever and I spray painted them and nail gunned them up here along with some other extra pieces of wood and the workbench also the workbench itself all of this wood was laying on my property at random this is some of the the back porch which was real bad and it just fell apart uh, not too long after we moved in and so I just built this with I never bought one piece of wood when I built this uh, and tried to make it look like the one in the movie so basically the the whole thing was just stuff that I already had um, I know some of the examples that I saw sometimes there's some tin snips sitting there I don't you have to look at Evil Dead 2 to see. I think they are sitting there. I just got a machete. So a little homage to Jason instead of Freddy. Um, so, you know, I mean, like I said, it's kind of... I have a lot of shit sitting on this bench right now. But, you know, I keep my screwdrivers and everything here. And 
of course, I, I already had one of these, and it was originally in the garage. And I said, well, I'll put the vice grip in the cabin because it goes with the work shed section. And then, you know, I got the shovel, uh, the shovel and the crowbar. Um, that I also found on this property. It was already, I believe it was, the handle was already broken. I just, it's up there. You know, it ain't coming down. It's screwed up there. So that's just her looks now. Um, keep a hammer on the side. Oh, and I just got to, I don't know why I put that up there. And just something, a hane, oh, a crowbar. I got my air compressor for when I do my chainsaw work. Rebuilding something, fixing something. And I got the saw down there and uh, my funnels and, oh, I love it. You know, I actually use it. If I don't want, I don't want to mess in the garage, you know, I just come here. Garage isn't um, heated, so I want to be warm, work on chainsaw. Come in here, too. There's a 16, that's my 16 gauge sitting back there. Oh, I fired that. You don't see it on film, my videos, but I fired that quite a few times. Shot quite a few watermelons. Mm -hmm.